Hey everyone, it's Crown Jamil um, from Archaeozoic Pictures and today we'll be making a bouquet effect. So this is um, what you kind of see in like when you're say you're in like a city with a lot of lights in like a shot and you've got the cameras focusing on the person. You you start to see these kind of bubbles and this is the, that's the sort of effect we'll be creating just f from scratch. So what you want to do first is go file new and I'd say maybe 12 8 by 720 something like that click OK and then want to snap uh, you snap the view by holding down control and pressing 0 and then want to double click the background layer just name it whatever you want um, and you want to invert it control I make a new layer and you want to uh, so just unview this for now then you want to get your brush tool and you want to make the hardness 100 the size let's say 200 um, and you just want to click somewhere in the middle and it's just already been edited so maybe it, maybe it hasn't oh opacity 25 that's why uh, so yeah just click in the middle somewhere and you don't want to make the opacity 50 and you want to Oh, actually, the fail. Sorry, not the opacity. So just keep that 100. Um, the fill 50. Double click here. And you want to give it a stroke. 10. Or if that's too much. I want 5. I want to go edit. Define brush preset. Just going to call it OK. And delete the slur. Do this layer, make a new layer, and can't read. Really, obviously, can't see it because it's black. So, oh yeah, yeah, I've selected the brush either. So, same thing. But anyway, select the brush from here, and you want to just keep the size of this, and you want to maybe 426 if you want. But that's too big. Then, yeah, yeah, 213. Looks alright. Um, so, shape dynamic, size gear 100. Um, scattering, it's about 1000. Count, so around 2. Count gear around 100. Transfer, put the, both these up to 100%. Uh, you then want to double click the background layer and you want to give it a gradient overlay click the gradient bar and you want to double click your background colour you want to choose a kind of dark blue you can copy my hex if you want here that's fine then you want to choose a kind of purple to pink kind of colour click OK, click OK make the angle 45 Make the size 100, I don't know. Just keep the size 100. Um, then you want to make the blend mode overlay. I'll tell you what, uh, I'll just save this gradient. Just click new, okay. I'm going to cancel. And you don't want to use black, you want to use a very dark grey, so 13. Press center. And that's not, oh, that's not enough maybe five yeah five looks good and um, now you can add it choose this one make it overlay now you can start so don't bother making a new layer make a new group so control G make this color dodge Make a new layer inside it. Default color set, swap them around, and just go along like that about four times. Then just go filter, blur, Gaussian blur, raise about 10. Make a new layer, shrink it, maybe something like 100. 100 
13. Oops. Around the same kind of thing. And just give that a blur of five. One, two more, so we get a bit smaller as well. We can make that 13. If that's miles too small, keep it as it is. So, 2.5. Then one more. Put a few there. I have to do. Um, so you can either leave that as it is or go filter sharpen. Sharpen. You might want to duplicate it, or you don't have to, or you can, and as I said, you can use whatever colour you want. So you can change this to orange, green, blue, or you can just keep it purple. Um, so, so, yeah, so there you go. So that's how I make a bouquet, a simple bouquet effect photoshop you can use this in many things you can put this anywhere you want and I hope you learnt something new I hope you enjoyed this tutorial so remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video so this is Corona Jomeo from my Archaeozoic Pictures and I'll see you in the next tutorial see ya